Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in to another video and also welcome to the Kingdom Auto headquarters, which today is uh, not gonna be outside. It's gonna be in a closet because that's the best that I was able to do for today. So thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed this video that we have for you. So for those of you who don't know, Miranda and I have been very busy over the past little while recording a series which we have affectionately deemed Ordinary Drag Races, which you can check out at the link up top or in the description. This is a series where we've been racing ordinary everyday vehicles in the quarter mile against each other just because it's not really something that has been done all that much. We highly recommend that you check it out and we hope that you guys have just as much fun watching as we have been filming. But that to say, we recently released a video of a race between a Honda Odyssey and a Dodge Caravan and we came across the unique opportunity to practically determine if heavier wheels actually make a difference in acceleration over the course of a quarter mile. Up here in Canada, a lot of us get a true four seasons, which means that it's really beneficial to have a set of winter tires and wheels, and also a summer set of tires and wheels as well. Welcome to Kingdom Auto. I'm Miranda, and um, Josh decided to rudely just do a video without me. And so he called me and said, the people want to see you. Um, can you just, I'll splice you in and so just talk a little bit about the tires that um, that he used. So I have exact replicas of what he used. So these were summer tires. Like look at those babies. Like those will just rip, just shred. Just shred the old asphalt up. Then you have these, the old winter tires. Remember, these are all exact replicas of what he used. But that is the question. Did they make a difference? All right, let's do this. Take number three. In three, two, one. That's better. It clicked in a little better because the traction control. Okay, there's first gear. Oh, she's pulling away. Uh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, I got it this time and I'm coming back. No way! No way! No way I got that! And we've got the heavier summer wheels on now, even though they're stickier tires. Um, and we're just, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I lose. I would not be surprised at all. So, see how it goes. All right, I am all set to go. How about you? Good? Okay. Yep. Take number two in three, two, one, go. Oh, that was a better start for her. Weird how it kind of clicked in a little better, but super weird how it did that. I'm catching up though. Look at, look, look, look. Oh, this gear. Oh, that was photo finish right there. I think I got that one. I think I got that one. We first did the winter wheel and tire setup and then we did the summer wheel and tire setup. We timed the Odyssey on the quarter mile with both sets of wheels. We did a bunch of launches with traction control on and off to, just to try and get the most repeatable results that we could. It was the same vehicles, the same drivers, Every race was taking place on the same day, on the same track, in the same conditions. We were as consistent as we could be with what we have available to us. And much to our surprise, it made almost no difference whatsoever. The only factor that might have impacted the results a little bit was just the difference in the compound of the tire. The winter tires did spin quite a bit versus the summer tires hooked up a lot better too. So we both think that that could have been one of the biggest factors that would have changed things. For example, if we had put you know, really sticky summer tires on the 17 inch wheels and gotten a really good launch, um, that might actually improve the overall quarter mile time because there was quite a bit of spin with the winters. But all I have to say, if you have your own recommendations as to how we could even do this test again and even be more consistent than what we were, please tell us. You know, we're happy to try and do it if we can. But the overall difference in time between the winter setup and the summer setup was basically negligible. It was maybe, maybe a tenth of a second. And that could have been down to something as simple as the launch. You know, maybe one launch was better than another. So you need tire treads, which these don't, but they work just fine. And this is what he used, just like this. See this? 
And I tell you, if he didn't have tires, he definitely would have lost. Anyways, all jokes aside. <laughs> totally blanked. <laughs> he had some different pointers for me to talk about. And uh, he can do all the serious stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoy um, Josh and the tires. And don't miss me too much, because I'm literally right here. See you guys. So all this to say, if you're concerned about heavier wheels impacting the speed of your car, I would say, you know, don't really worry about it. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Have fun putting on big wheels on your vehicles. Enjoy making it your own. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well. Please keep letting us know what you want to see up against one another when it comes to our drag racing series. We're happy to make that happen for you. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you guys. And we'll see you soon.